Hello, Steve White, Trek Boy 89 for Steve Outs 89, Star Trek's Gatekeeper. Um, there are some news items from um, Mission Chicago, which is being held this weekend, which was um, the first real um, convention they've had for a few years, thanks to you know what. So it's actually, you know, people are attending in person this year, so it's, um, it's quite a big deal. I was expecting more news. I, I, I sort of was thinking, wow, they just released a big trailer for um, um, Strange New Worlds and they released um, just a bunch of things for, for Star Trek right before the convention. I'm like, well, why didn't they save them for the convention? But um, we've got a little bit of news. Uh, the most interesting thing, I think, is we've got the first names for um, Dr. Mbenga and Spock, which are both from novels. Now, Dr. Mbenga's name in the 2005 novel Harbinger was Jabilo. So that means healer in some Kenyan language, which I've forgotten what it was called. I read it and I forgot. But, um, okay, uh, that's fine. But now Spock's name is a bit trickier. Now, it comes from the 1985 novel Ishmael. Ishmael. Um, but in the Paradise Syndrome, he said that his name was unpronounceable. But um, this, it's spelled S-R-C-H-N. T G A I with um two little things, I forgot what they're called. Um so it kinda of looks like Shin to Guy. So um and then Spock comes after that. So that seems kind of pronounceable, so I'm not sure um how that works. Um Prodigy also got a um supernova game and uh what else happened? Not much. Um I'm kind of surprised how little has come out of this um, big event. Uh, the other thing was um, there is a trailer for Pro um, Prodigy Season 3, but um, it won't play in my country, so I'm not doing a review of it. I might do one later if I see it and something actually is interesting in it. Um, no, sorry. No, sorry. Lower Decks had the trailer. Prodigy has the game. Um, I just saw articles for both, but um, there wasn't much information on either. And like I said, the video for the Season 3 um, Lower Decks trailer, I can't see, so yeah. But um, the names, I don't know. Sometimes I think they should leave that sort of stuff alone. Um, but they're really going hard on naming everyone. Like, um, uh, who was the other one who got a name? Oh, of course, Una from um, The Cage, number one. They could have kept that a mystery just for the fun of it, but they decided, well, we're going to call her Una, which is number one. So that's why she's called number one. So, yeah, okay. But um, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Um, are you surprised at how little's come out of the Chicago event? Um, I haven't seen anything else. I was just, I was planning to have a Madonna day today and watch a whole bunch of her videos that I haven't watched that I've sort of just been um, waiting to watch. And I thought, no, I know what's going to happen. There'll be some big news coming out from the Chicago convention, then I'll have to do a bunch of videos on that, and it's going to distract me from Madonna. It wasn't a good weekend to have a Madonna um, event. It's like it's like a Star Trek weekend, but really nothing's come out, and I'm like, why didn't they save some of these big announcements um, for the convention? They just um, had a bunch of Star Trek news come out the last week or so. Um, yeah, like, like Star Trek The Motion Picture being released and everything, and all the hoopla around that, the 4K version of that. Um, you know, the the trailer for Strange New Worlds, um, all the individual trailers, quite a bit of stuff for Strange New Worlds came out. Um, Picard announcing the next generation crew is going to appear, um, except for Will Wheaton. Uh, that's another thing that happened, that they could have saved that, like, saved that for a week and released it at the, at the convention. I kind of find it odd, because normally they save these things to be conventions. Uh, maybe Mission Chicago isn't big enough, I don't know. I think the attendance has been good. Um, there's a bunch of people there what, that were protesting um, NFTs. And I'm like, if you really care that much about the environment, why don't you just stay offline altogether? Because I, I don't really understand how NFTs are any worse for the environment than anything else that you know relies on the internet. Um, so I'm really confused about that. It seems to be a political thing. Um, I'm not sure. I, I haven't done any real research. Just heard people talk about it in a couple of videos and it does make a lot of sense. And I'm nearly up to five minutes, so I should probably stop talking. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not too bothered by them giving them names, but I was always wondering if they should leave Spock unnamed 
because there is that whole issue of it being a name that humans apparently can't pronounce. Well, apparently they don't care about canon and consistency and leg legacy or legend um, because they're just ignoring that and giving him a name that's quite pronounceable. But um, yeah, I'm going to go. Thanks. Bye.